Remember the declaration you sign and date each time you vote by mail? It's located on the back of the envelope you return your ballot in. You may not realize it, but your signature is required for your ballot to be opened and your vote to be counted. By law, King County Elections must check to make sure the signature on each envelope matches the signature on file with the voter's registration. Specially trained elections employees examine each signature to make sure it matches in order to verify every voter's identity. Training is provided by the Washington State Patrol Fraud Unit, the state authority on signature verification and fraud. King County Elections will contact you if the signatures do not appear to match. Make sure to respond as quickly as possible, even if Election Day has passed. Voters have a limited time after Election Day to correct signature issues and have their votes counted. When signing the voter's declaration, keep these tips in mind. Make sure the envelope is yours. Sometimes they get mixed up with those of other family members. Your name should be printed on the back of the envelope. Sign carefully. Remember that we use this signature to verify that this is your ballot. It might be helpful to use a ruler to help keep your signature lined up and in the space provided. And if you have difficulty signing your name, you can simply make a mark on the line for the voter's signature and have two witnesses sign on the lines provided. Any acquaintance can sign as a witness. No one can sign for you, not even someone acting as power of attorney. Finally, if you have any questions, be sure to call us. We want to make sure your vote is counted.